Hey there, welcome back to the lifeboat. You've been blowing up the comment section saying if I don't turn this into a liveaboard boat, you're gonna be royally pissed. So I've been listening. We have plans for the master bedroom, the kitchenette, the storage. We wanna keep an open format, but I'm pretty excited to show you what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> Starting with the front of the boat. So this thing came from Norway, or it was made in Norway, then it went to Singapore, then it went to the oil rig that was in the coast of Mexico. But there's a lot of parts of this boat that didn't have any English and all of the words are either Spanish, Norwegian, there's a pinch of English, but we had to do a lot of research and a lot of people reached out and gave us some good information, which I really appreciate. And we figured out that in the front of the boat, they had this massive hatch. They would store three huge, basically scuba tanks in there. And if crap hit the fan on the oil rig, you would hop in here. You had to seal everything up. Say there was a fire, maybe a storm, the boat's rolling. You can't open and get any fresh air. You would have oxygen in the boat. Now, we have like four guys in here max. I'm not really gonna be putting this thing in a situation where it needs to be sealed up in an emergency situation. These things are really old and corroded. They used to store all of their goods inside of this dry storage. It gave a place for emergency food, emergency blankets, whatever you could fit through that hole you could store in there. We might reuse that because it honestly looks like a pretty cool live well or something, but we have a couple in the back of the boat as well. What I'm thinking we can do with the front peninsula is turn this into a convertible mattress sleeping bed. We're gonna frame over this. Mattress sits on top of the frame. We're gonna have a set of doors close over the mattress. When they close, it's all gonna be walking space so we don't close off half of the boat. Moving to the back. Back here is a little bit more critical area of the boat. We have the gas tank right in the center of the boat. It took us forever to figure out where they put the gas in here. This area is access to the battery. I'm thinking we can turn this into some type of storage, put some cool industrial rustic looking shelving up. That's super YouTube-y for sure. I know a lot of you 12 year olds are stoked right now. Rustic shelving. Moving on. The kitchenette. Now this is gonna be my favorite part of the boat. We're gonna use this sink that James built. We might have to remove the shelving because it's already broken right there. We have this cool table. They just drilled straight into these metal posts, slid this table in. I think this is gonna be a perfect area for a fridge, microwave, literally the most ultimate fishing liveaboard vessel for a YouTuber that there possibly can be. So, we're gonna start the renovation of the interior by trying to clean off the walls. I don't know if you guys can see this good, but they're covered in really hoping that's mildew spores. That's what we're gonna go with, because we did spend 24 hours in here, and if it's black mold, it's like minus 10 years. So, we have some really ugly carpet. No shame to James. I saw, you know, where he was headed, but <coughs> just not... <coughs> Stuff kind of hits, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> Goal for the day, prep the boat for the rest of the week. We wanna rip up the carpet, we wanna clean the walls, come in tomorrow morning, paint, and start framing up the master bedroom. We just got some blue jean shorts for this sequence and just... What are you doing? Just trying to find a place to fish. There's only woods around here. You have a phone? Like this thing? Go in your app store and check out Fishing Clash. They sponsored one of my videos last year. I don't know if you missed it. Like if you were living under a rock or something. No, dude, I haven't. Why would you even say that? <laughs> 
Fishing Clash is today's video sponsor, and they've been my go-to game for a while, which is why you should download it. The cool part about it is you never even have to leave your house, dude. If it's raining, you can just download the game, fish all around the world, explore new locations, catch different kinds of fish. Dude, I have been living under a rock. One little tip for new players, you can use the weight gain to help you catch bigger fish. Ever since I did this, totally upped my skills. You can download the game right now. The link is in the top of the description, or just scan the QR code on, on the screen. I just got my first snuck. My special code is LIFEBOAT. You get like a $20 value reward. Oh my gosh, it's big, dude. It's going towards the dock, Ayo. Comes with like a unique avatar, a mythical lure record. Ayo, this fish is pulling hard, man. Give me a second. 30 weight power-ups and 50 luck power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. <laughs> Got him. Blue runner. <laughs> to redeem my code LIFEBOAT, you just need to follow these three steps, which I'll put on the screen now. So if you want to, you can download the game, help support the channel. Now back to the LIFEBOAT. Mm, it's a lot more than we were anticipating. It took forever to scrub all this. There's still a little bit of mildew left, like in the deep crevices of the fiberglass, but I'm thinking with a layer of paint, we can kill it and make the boat look a lot better. Before we paint the walls, I want to rip up all this carpet. They've screwed it. I don't think they really glued it down in the fiberglass, so it should come up pretty easy. We'll make sure there's no holes hiding underneath there because there's a couple spots. Kind of loose. So what I think I just figured out, holy smokes. So this whole side is storage. That is crazy. It has drains in the side. That makes me feel so much better because I thought we actually had rotten fiberglass in the boat. Up here, I fell through the floor and just covered it with plywood because I didn't want anybody to know. In reality, oh yeah. That's what happened before and I tried to keep that under wraps, but <laughs> here we are. And it's no fiberglass whatsoever. It's just an old sheet of plywood. We literally have pre-made templates for new flooring in here. That one's definitely gonna fall apart, but I can't tell you how much better I feel right now. Glass feels really good in there. Doesn't feel weak at all. Gosh, dude, that is such a good feeling. And this centerpiece that we were just taking apart, I don't even think it's attached to anything. I just think it's resting in there. Hmm. I mean, surprisingly, it really doesn't look terrible. Okay, so this was dry storage and they just cut the outer shell off of the dry storage and then put a little walking area, framed it up. We're gonna just reuse that as is. Be really cool if we found like just a stack of money in here. Cleaned out. So the next thing to do before we put a brand new floor in here is to put a layer of paint around the boat. Oh. It's crazy how when you clean something it just looks like completely different. Feels so much better. So, we got Home Depot to pretty much match the color of the boat. The lightest gray they offered, which now looking at it compared to this gray, if you paint this thing really dark, it looks like you're in just like a creepy dungeon on the water. I'm really nervous this is gonna end up making the boat feel too dark. It is a touch darker. By a touch, considerably darker.
I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I kinda hate it. Straight forward, straight forward. Straight forward, right into Louis Tim. No, you're good, you're good. So, Gravy has yet to see the lifeboat in person. I wanted him to see it before we changed anything because he's not too stoked. And I think if we can make it a little bit easier to navigate and get around, he'd be more open to staying overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Without further ado, buddy, indulge your eyes. It's a girthy girl, I'd say. <laughs> Dude, yeah, a lot, a lot of girth. You should see it from behind. Oh man. She's got a thick booty to her. That's what I'm saying. It's really like, it bleeds into the hips as well. It's not just located low. Yeah, the, the hips kind of just fall out. They're exposed. Yeah, they are. It's bad. It's like a reverse mushroom top. Yeah. Drop it low. Nice. Hey, be careful when you go to step down and that's wet paint to your right and left. What do you think? Initial thoughts. Ooh. It's got some height to it for sure. Like the fact that we can stand in this, unlike the inflatable houseboat. Yeah, that's very true. Could stand in that unless you're two and a half feet. <laughs> yes, that was not great. But I think it's little people. I don't think you're supposed to. The M word is offensive. Uh, yeah, bad. little people. So I'm gonna build a bed right here. Okay. On top of the bed, I'm gonna build doors that close. So level with this is gonna be floor. So it's kind of be like, kind of gonna be like a casket. Yeah, I mean it's a, a casket bed. So if somebody like planning to die on this thing or something, and you're just planning ahead for that. Watch the paint, buddy. To me right now. Whoopsies. Wow. Yeah. What is this right here in front of you? That is a cabinet that's probably gonna need um, okay. Well, I'd say we are back to the houseboat of square number one. Do you want this? No, I'm good. I want my lamp back. You had your chance. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Started out right, baby. Let's break some freaking lamps. Or the most annoying part of this boat is getting from the interior to the roof because it wasn't made for luxury. Yeah. It's made for oh poop situations. Whoa, whoa, what? Like if something goes wrong. Jeez, where is this channel going these days? I might want to. Oh, look out. Reread that agreement that I signed for <laughs> the next no seven agreement. years. Yeah, the thrall might be calling my name here soon too after that one. You got a boot? Yeah. No, we're good. <laughs> ah, good lord, that boy. Wild metrics class coming in handy for me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Biometrics. Oh. So tell the people right now, are you willing to spend 24 hours out here? I think I'm willing to spend 24 hours out here, yes. Yes! On the phone, he always hits me with like, oh, that's fine, maybe, we'll see. But he put a camera on him and a lot of pressure. Yeah. He caves. Yeah. Nothing like making your friends uncomfortable caves. and forced to do things. Kind of like Draymond Green in the paint. <sighs> there it is. We got to figure something out better. <laughs> this is crap. This is not great. Good work, brother. All right, we have painted a majority of the boat. We still probably need to put another coat and we haven't even painted where the kitchenette's gonna go, but we used all the paint we had. There's like a paint shortage or something going on. The store only had one gallon of the color that we wanted. Ended up swapping from the gray to the baby blue. But we're moving on to the floor. My ears are ringing. The cool thing we just figured out is every single piece is identical. They just flip over and they fit on the opposite side. So we have to cut four corner pieces, two middle pieces, and then one square, and nobody's falling through the floor of the whole lifeboat anymore. Ah. Nice. 
we are currently sealing every piece of wood that we put in the boat because there's so many different areas that the boat could be taking water on i feel like i find one every storm we have i come back and there's a new little dripper just hiding in the corner of the boat so we're gonna seal everything up as good as we can Bob Ross on steroids over here, dude. We're thinking about coming back with like marine grade boat flooring, that kind of soft foam, just cause if you're ever in a boat, feel like you gotta be barefooted. It's as much man feet as we can get in this boat, the better. Floating foot finder. Floor planks. Ah, I love floor planking. All right, so we've completed all the cuts. We've sealed and stained every piece of the floor. We're gonna reuse every floor plank that was in here except for the one that I fell through. I know you might be thinking that's gonna be uneven and all, but master plan, bear with me. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that is so much more stable. Wow, that's pretty nice. We put together all the pieces to the bed frame. We're gonna come over, put the bottom layer down and then work our way up to the hinge doors. The coffin bed is gravy calls it. Shoot! Ah! So family friendly, it's ridiculous. Not bad. Starting to see it come together for sure. The frame for the mattress has been laid. We're gonna shove a queen size mattress. We have a 60 inch gap right here so the bed can come all the way to here. 80 inches of bed leaves us with about a foot right here so we're gonna have a little step. We might even put another step right there then the mattress box is gonna start here and come back. All right, final day. We have some flooring. I ordered C-Deck. Pretty sure that's what you call it. It's foam flooring. It's gonna go over all the planks that we have in here, even though the stain looks pretty good. We covered it in paint, and you get heck of splinters if you don't do the foam touch. Coffin bed is completed. We only have to add some door hinges and some ways to grab the door and open them, but we have a mattress, everything we need. And lastly, we're gonna attack putting in some homemade cabinets similar to what they built. Extend that out, throw in some more Walmart specialties. Today is the day. Interior is gonna be done so that we can take gravy out in like a week or two. Dang, I just shaved my whole kneecap, dude. <laughs> my wife's got this. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> no. My eyes. <laughs> Stop! <clears throat> you finish off the end, Mr. Perfect Cut. Come on, man. Oh. oh. Ah. <laughs> Thank you.
that took forever, dude. We were supposed to do this in three days. I'm pretty sure it took six total, but. I was worried because the bracing underneath here, the wood kind of was falling. But when we threw in the foam mattress from Walmart, it gave us all the stability we needed. Boat is still free. If you're sitting there worrying, what's gonna happen when you hit a wave? These are just sitting up here, let me show you. This rope has a little knot. The knot fits through the thingy hole on the coffin door. The rope is gonna go into the little hook not come through so we don't have to worry about any doors wow a lot of rustic to that rope don't have to worry about any doors hitting us in our sleep the mattress does everything that i was hoping it would holds that plywood up nice and sturdy and you can run all over the front of the boat moving on to the back of the boat we added two more cabinets Got fingy holes in there, storage. Right here we got a microwave, mini fridge, electric stove, so that if you got anything to cook, all fumes are going straight out of the boat. And one of the cool parts, this whole boat is wired to a few different outlets from this extension cord, so you can plug into a marina. We also have a bunch of power banks and power storages that we can plug into remotely. Use some solar power and we can power everything in the boat. One of my favorite things that we have done, sea deck flooring. This stuff is so smooth. We've got some really pretty light tan foam flooring, and I think Gravy's gonna love it. That is our homemade lifeboat interior upgrade. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next video, we're gonna be putting this interior to the test, hopefully with Gravy. I love you, dirty dogs. Appreciate you watching. Until the next time. I don't know what to say right now. And don't forget, you can help support the channel by downloading Fish and Clash. It'll be linked in the top of the description. If it wasn't for sponsors like Fish and Clash, these projects wouldn't even exist. So thanks, Fish and Clash. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.